St. Clair Shores police released new video of a wild police chase that ended with gunfire. This happened January 28th when police in Gross Point Shores tried to stop a car for a traffic violation. Jason Colthorpe picks up the story from there. There were actually two chases that night. The first one was called off by Gross Point Shores. The second one ended up here in St. Clair Shores and it ended just off of Jefferson here on Revere. And if you take a look, you can see just how narrow Revere is and it dead ends down at Lake St. Clair. Once the driver realized that he turned around, officers were waiting and that's when things got dangerous. It was shortly after 9 p.m. January 28th when this home security video shows the car heading to the end of Revere and officers stopping behind. Moments later, you can see the vehicle headed back toward officers who are out with guns drawn. Another camera picked up those gunshots fired by officers. And on a dash cam, you can see an officer step aside and the suspect ram one cop car into another. 28-year-old Marquise Massey of Detroit was arraigned last Thursday from his hospital bed. His attorney says he was shot in the back. St. Clair Shores police tell the Macomb Daily Massey ignored several verbal commands, was bitten by a state police dog, and had to be tasered twice before being taken into custody. Police say two officers also ended up with minor injuries. The judge actually went above and beyond and gave Massey a $750,000 bond on this. His attorney argued it was way too excessive, saying he was the one who got shot by police over a minor traffic violation. In St. Clair Shores, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.